in the music live episode 211 you know a band i was in back in the day called the lp outsiders they had a song called 211 nice i don't know what it was about really but it always said it was 211 a lot it was weird but anyway it was a good song uh david welcome yes, to the sir. show again we're gonna be checking out some music tonight we uh had a featured artist from uh the faroe islands from on pretty sure i messed up the date again so they're not here um probably my fault i'm very sorry about that i need to learn how to read and look at things i have a calendar actually what it is i have a calendar where it starts on the wrong day you know how like, some calendars start on monday and some calendars start on sunday and you get used to one of them and then you look at another one and that might be the problem but we've already had these guys booked months ago and then I had to rebook them to this date. And so I'm an idiot. So anyway, we're going to be listening to a couple of reviews off the website with just me and Dave tonight because we're awesome studs. Todd Barrow, Hot Southern Night off of his Texas Country Nation new song. Yep. Former featured artist and a really cool dude. And uh, he just keeps coming out with music and music and music and music. And then completely on another, the other side of the genre is Maurice James with I don't know if it's called rare view or rear view because on his profile, it's both the project, the picture there says rare view, but then the song says rear view. And so, yeah, I noticed that. Confused. Did you notice that? I did. <laughs> it's like, if I were to choose, I'd go with what the graphic says. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Um, so David, okay. how the hell are you, man? Doing all right, dude. Doing all right, man. Just uh, getting busy again with uh, my other projects. I got, I think, four new reviews since our last show. We got Ryan Sutherland, The Return of Death by Platypi. Remember those guys? Oh, yeah. I was wondering about Way, that. like, two years ago, they submitted just, oh, it was like, you really. Know, the, the review, that review that we just processed and, and finished, the <laughs> he ordered it, like, over a year ago. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah. And so one day I was just like, hey. <laughs> yeah. And then we got Nick Dwayne and uh, John Michael Ferrari. Yeah. Some uh, Nick interesting. Dwayne was actually one of the first artists we ever reviewed on Indie Music Plus, if you remember. Uh, I didn't, but that's <laughs> cool to know, man. All right. So uh, it's going to be a shorty tonight, people. Um, let's go ahead and check out. Let's see. Who did I want to go first? Uh, Todd Barrow, because it's a nice kind of bordering on country rock definitely I like this kind of song i like this kind of stuff so let us know what you think share this video out todd barrow hot southern night oh let's kick it got the cool dogs flapping mud grip slapping yeti cooler shaking ice got the pioneers pumping Hitting every bump on County Road 49. About to take a right turn, sling a little red dirt. There's a party in the pines. Back up to the lake, crank up George Strait. Sip on some homemade shine. Cause it's a hot southern night. Just chilling and killing time. Like we got the red. Sipping smearing up, rocking them cutoffs, bikinis underneath. Preacher's daughter, well, she never looked hotter. Man, she's a Georgia peach. About time to take a chance, make a little romance, kick it down by the creek. Break out a bottle, turn up the throttle, see if I can sneak a peek. Cause it's a hot southern night. Just chilling. Indie Music Live 211. Shorty, but a goody. It's okay if we go a little short, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Todd Barrow. We've had this guy on the show before. He's been reviewed on the website a few times. And I really hope that something really good happens for him. And I hope that because he just is just just what a country artist is supposed to be like, I think. I mean, and I like Southern rock and I like that song. It's good stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, you were apprehensive to add rock in the description, but I think this is equal parts country, rock, and blues. Sure. I mean, it's like it's a really good balance, I, and I, I really like uh, the amount uh, of balance throughout. I mean, it reminded me of Kenny Wayne Shepherd, hmm. and it, was, it leans a little more towards the blues, but you know the the uh, delay on the vocals, the reverb, the uh, more of like blues style guitar, and it's you know it's kind of a, a detraction from like anything like using lap steel or anything, which is traditional country. I, I mean, I, I like this mix, man. I think this might be his his niche right here. Is is keeping that that balance of those three genres? I think is a is a smart choice, man. It works. And I remember like when he was on the show, he's such a humble guy, and he was just pretty much willing to do anything that it took to just keep furthering his career and stuff. And so he just keeps putting out music nonstop. And he's always like, you know, he'll do it little by little, but he's always like taking advantage of our services here and there and stuff. And it's just, you can tell that he really, you know, wants it. And he's not a young guy either. So he's been doing it for a long time. So he knows that yeah. he's got to keep doing it, man. So yeah. Todd Barrow, good stuff, man. Hope you uh, very good. watch this little clip here. So uh, the other one is a review that uh, Loopy did, Chris Swan did a few months back. Uh, this is a R&B flavored song, Maurice James, with the review. <clears throat> I'm not sure that. What is it, Dave? What do you think? Ah, uh, it's tough, man. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm. I think I'm leaning more towards Rear because that's rear what's on review. Sound. Rear because it's on SoundCloud. I don't know, man. I'm I'm torn. I, yeah, I didn't really notice that till today. So anyway. Here we go. <laughs> See, there's something about a change of scenery. Be in a place where no one knows your name. Run before you know what you mean to me. Fight the urge to see it in my face Another trip to cross off of your list No harm in speaking your truth Better let the words fall from your lips It hurts more to not know the truth Thoughts that spine eternity. A room with the view of the moon. I hope I saw you saw in your dreams. If not, I hope you find that soon. live two one one <clears throat> and it's just me and dave shorty but a goody i really hope to get from on from on is that how you say it how would you say it dave all fancy the mond the mond yeah. uh, i hope to get them on the show uh i apologize once again probably my mistake i'm not gonna blame them sorry right. hey joe man it's all right dude we still love you buddy they'll be back so uh maurice james i love this guy's voice it's really cool to hear a real piano uh i'm assuming it's real because it just sounds real to me it is <clears throat> and the overall production is simple yet very good and um you know uh john legend fits in right in with that vein um 
there's one note that he hits in there too that just it's like the perfect harmony for like a split second you know there's it's 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 nice and sweet yeah real nice and and again it's just such a good mix of genres here like it's the the subtle hip-hop elements it just sits really nice um and I was checking out uh, Chris Swan's review, and he was he was feeling, you know, it's like it's almost like a B side from Seal, and he mentioned uh, Frank Ocean, but I would add Brian McKnight to that. Oh yeah, yeah, just yeah. Be- because of his production style, it's like that subtle hip hop, heavy piano, very nice voice, nice range. It just kind of sits right, uh, right in there over for me. Yeah, yeah, it was a great tune. Yeah, it's nice. So, Maurice, hope to hear some more from you, man. We really like your stuff. So, David, what are you going to be doing this week? You guys are having quite the uh, pandemic outbreak down there in good old Phoenix. What's life yeah. like that? I wouldn't know, being that I live in New York. No, it's been this progression, you know, because I, uh, I I walk to the grocery store pretty much every day, and I, I remember when it all started and walking around the store, it was maybe – five percent of the people would wear a mask you know and and the non-masked people would look at them funny like oh that's kind of weird and now you go to present day and present day there's like maybe one or two people don't don't wear a mask and everybody and people with the mask look at that guy like hey what's wrong with him um well some people yeah. would say that that's the reason that you're in the in the predicament that you are <laughs> yeah yeah it's 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 uh messed up dude yeah but masks aren't 100 percent either though but uh i feel more comfortable in public now for sure like i live in upstate new york um you know and our state in general still still like breaks all the records uh it's probably not gonna be like that for long but you know we were really scared uh for a while but now it's kind of like you know you wear a mask wash your hands you just try to you know, you try to stay away from people and out of enclosed spaces as much as possible, and you should be good. So my life is pretty much resumed back to normal, which is nice. Uh, I just wear a mask everywhere I go, and uh, I'm starting to probably going to start teaching piano again, which kind of scares me a little bit. But you know, apparently kids can't really carry the disease that much. They're saying, like, uh, I don't know who really knows actually. But anyway. Yeah, I think when we look back, it's just it was just a really bad flu season, you know. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be hard to summarize, but um, anyway, yeah. All right, so Hicks Video, H I X V I D E O. If you need consistent professional live streaming production, Rob Hicks is your guy. We've been working with Rob for going on two hundred episodes now, total. Uh, and uh, he started around episode 35-ish or 33 or something like that. So thanks to Rob for always making us look good and uh, making it so that we don't have to do anything except for look good, which is pretty easy to do for me. I don't know about about Dave, but... Pretty good. (laughs) Pretty sharp over here, brother. So we'll catch you next week, Monday. I do have a lot of good featured artists lined up, and most of them are going to show up, I swear. So we'll see you next time. Peace. See ya. All it's kicking. Got the bulldogs flapping, mud grip slapping, Yeti cooler shaking ice. Got the pioneers pumping, hitting every bump on County Road 49. About to take a right turn, sling a little red dirt. There's a party in the pines. Back up to the lake, crank up George Strait, sip on some homemade.